Hey, what's up guys? Seth Riley here with the White Hat Mastermind Show, and this is episode number 15. And in this video, we're really going to be getting into how you can build a uh, subscriber list uh, using opt-in forms on your WordPress blog. And I feel that having an opt-in form on your site or multiple opt-in forms is a very good idea, especially when you're starting out, uh, because it really helps you to build an asset for your business. Having an email autoresponder list is extremely important because it gives you the ability to follow up with your leads into the future and recommend your future products to them and also affiliate products if you don't have your own products. And this basically gives you the ability to make uh, really good sales uh, just through emailing your list, okay? So what I want to do is just show you a really cool plugin that I personally use on my site, and it's called Optin Forms. Okay, it comes in a free version and also a premium version as well. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Now, as you can see, we're on the home page here. I have a little video over here, and I simply just ask them to opt into my list over here, and it's very simple. As you can see, the page is set up kind of like a landing page. Uh, and this is the home page of the blog. And if you scroll down, I also can tell them about other services on my site. And optionally, another great thing you can do is have an opt-in form appended to the bottom of your blog posts. So if we scroll over to blog posts and we click on any of, it, any of the blog posts and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that we have a, another unique opt-in form here. Uh, that only the premium version offers. However, the free version allows you to have a single opt-in form uh, and, and it allows you to collect leads on a single list on your, your autoresponder campaign as well. Uh, but optionally, you can get the premium version if you're getting really serious about blogging and uh, email marketing. You can get the premium version and set up unique opt-in forms. Let's say I have a unique opt-in form for my blog, a unique opt-in form for my homepage, which I already showed you which is right here. And then if you scroll over to resources, you can see uh, below the, the audio, I have another opt-in form here. So if they listen to this audio, I simply tell them about this page and then I ask them to enter their email there to be added to my email list, which they can get exclusive content from me into the future, okay? So that's just a great way to uh, collect your, your visitors' information to really build a quality relationship with them and also notify them of your future products coming out. Another great feature about the premium version is a Lightbox opt-in form, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I, it's, it's based off cookies, so you can set uh, how, how many seconds into the page you want the opt-in form to appear, also how many days out after they uh, check out the opt-in form for the first time when you want it to appear again, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go up to my Chrome browser settings and go to clear browsing data. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear the browsing data here, okay? And I'm gonna scroll back over to my site and refresh this page. Now, if we wait about 10 seconds, you're gonna see a Lightbox opt-in form pop up here. And that's how I set up the form. Um, as, as visitors are coming onto the site, uh, they can scroll and check out stuff. Bam, look at that. The opt-in form appears after about 10 seconds, okay? If they don't wanna opt in here, it's very simple. All they have to do is exit out of it. It's not intrusive at all, in my opinion. And it gives you the ability to follow up with your leads into the future. And your conversions, just having a, an opt-in form like that on your site are gonna skyrocket, okay? So that covers all the cool features in the premium version. Uh, but what I wanted to do is give you a walkthrough of the free version. And what we're gonna do is just jump over to White Hat Hub to do that, okay? Okay, we're over here at the demo site. And as you can see, we just have a pretty basic home page here. And what I wanna do is drop an opt-in form here using a short code. And this comes um, as part of the package with the free version and the premium version. Um, you're gonna use short codes to drop it into specific places on your pages. Um, optionally, you can append it to your blog posts using the settings with the free version, okay? So we're gonna jump over to the dashboard here, and I'm gonna go to the plugin section, and you just wanna click Add New Plugin. And then over here in the search bar, you just wanna type in Opt-in Forms, and hit Enter. And as you can see, Opt-in Forms popped up here in the, the top left, okay? It has five stars, it has over 26,000 downloads. So it's a very well-kept, uh, up-to-date plugin. All you have to do is hit Install. You'll see the pop-up, hit OK. Now that we've added the plugin, all you wanna do is hit Activate, okay? 
And once you hit activate, you'll notice uh, over in your left menu, it says opt-in forms. You just want to click on opt-in forms. So the first thing you're going to be uh, prompted with is what autoresponder you're going to use to um, integrate with your opt-in form. And this is a very easy setup. And I personally recommend GetResponse because, in my opinion, it's the best autoresponder out there for the money. Okay, It's very affordable. Uh, you can actually sign up for, I think, 14 days or a month or something like that for a single dollar. Okay, Or free. It might be free. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's very cheap. And then after a month, it's only going to be like $15 a month. Uh, for you know the amount of leads that you're going to have on your list, which is probably none starting out. So you want to build up your list over time uh, to follow up with these leads. And you can also set up um, automatic uh, follow-up uh, series or campaign in your autoresponder account. So you know the objective of email marketing is to kind of streamline things and to make it automatic. Uh, and it just helps you to really automate your system. And, you know, so you can spend more time with your friends and family and do the things you enjoy, which is probably not emailing people all day. <laughs> so um, what, we, what we need to do is select Get Response here. And then we need to enter the web form ID. So if you haven't purchased uh, Get Response below this video, you can, you can use my link to uh, set up your free, tr free trial, okay? And then once you've purchased GetResponse, you're just going to log in and select the list that you want to integrate with, okay? So what you need to do now is hover over web forms and click on web form lists. And then select view source code. In this tutorial, I'm not going to really walk you through setting up an opt-in form and get response. We'll save that for another tutorial. Um, but once you've set up your opt-in forms, you're going to have to create them under forms. Okay. And once you do that, all you need to do is come over to your JavaScript code here and click on these seven digit numbers right there. It's going to highlight it. Okay. You just want to copy that. Uh, code right there, the, the seven digit numbers right there. Scroll back over to your dashboard and go ahead and paste them here, okay? And then hit save changes. Okay, so we've integrated with Get Response now. So what we need to do is click on forms and it's going to bring you to the forms and you can select which template you want. We'll start with template number one and I'll just walk you through the different templates. Now keep in mind this is the free version. So out of the box, you can select any one of these templates to customize or you can actually use these templates as is. And they're already set up uh, to convert pretty high, but I also recommend that you should probably go with the colors based off your theme. Now, um, you know, it's a good idea to make your opt-in form a little eye-catching, but you don't want it overwhelming, so don't make it look spammy on your site. Uh, keep it simple, but also add a nice color in there to, uh, that's a little eye-catching, okay? That's the way I do it, in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna select template number four, so as you can see, I've already styled it a little bit. And if you just click on style your form right here, um, you can choose the background color. Just simply drag and drop the color picker where you want it. You can also select the border you want for your opt-in form. So if you wanted red, we could go with red. I'm just gonna keep it real basic for this tutorial though, okay? So we'll give it an, a little bit darker outline to, to give it a little shadowing, okay? And if you scroll down, you'll see you can add your title in here. You can change your fonts here. We'll just keep the fonts the same. Um, also, the, the size of your font and then the color of your font, okay? And then you can do that with the subtitle as well, the email field, uh, the, the button as well. You can change the color of the button here. And as you can see, we have a really nice blue, and I'm just going to keep it that color for now. So we're going to go ahead and collapse these options. Uh, we're going to check out form options. And as you can see, we can hide... Uh, different things on the form, but what we'll is keep them default for now? And then form functionality. If you click on that, you can choose to open the form in a new window. We'll just keep it default for now for this tutorial. And now, one of the most important things is form placement. So you can choose to have your form placed on your blog list after the first paragraph, after the second or at the bottom of your blog post. I prefer to have them at the bottom of my blog post because as they read through the blog post, um, you know, most likely they're probably gonna be more interested in you by the time they get to the end. Uh, but for, for a specific uh, you know, blog post, you can actually, uh, in the premium version, you can have unlimited opt-in forms and you could have actually unique opt-in forms for a specific blog post if you wanted to set up like a blog, uh, or I'm sorry, a opt-in magnet or whatever, a lead magnet, that's what they normally call them. Another thing you can do is choose 
where you want them placed on, on your pages. In this case, we're not gonna place them anywhere on the page. Uh, we're gonna do it manually by using the short, short code here. So if we just grab the short code and hit save changes, we're gonna scroll over to pages here and scroll down to the demo home page. And if you scroll back over, if I scroll back over to the home page of White Hat Hub, uh, you can see that we just have a nice little paragraph here, a picture, and we're gonna add an opt-in form down here, okay? So I already placed it here, but if you didn't have it there to begin with, you could just drop it in below the paragraph here and paste it and then update the page and then scroll back over to your, your home page and hit refresh. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have a nice little title here. Uh, we could have a little article here, a little paragraph talking about why they should opt into the form. And then they can enter their email address and hit submit, okay? And then they'll automatically be added to your list. Um, like I said, you can append these to your blog post. So if we scroll over to the blog page and we click on a title and go to that specific blog post, if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll notice that the opt-in form is here, okay? And this that's appended to all the different blog posts on your site. So it really sets up each blog post as a way to uh, collect your user's information or your visitor's information. And also, uh, it kind of sets it up like a landing page for each blog post, which is really cool because at the end of each article you have on a specific topic, um, you, could tell, you, you could ask them to opt into your form and maybe give them an incentive to opt into your form as well. It's completely up to you how you want to run your, your blog, okay? But that's what I personally recommend and I think it works very well. We're gonna go ahead and jump back over to the home page here at my main site. And like I said, uh, the premium version comes with unique opt-in forms and you can customize them any way you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what that would look like in the back office right now if you purchase the premium uh, version of this plugin. Okay, we're in my main site right here. And as you can see, um, it's no longer called opt-in forms, it's called opt-in lock. So some of the cool things about this plugin, uh, let me just go over them with you really fast. As you can see, I have unique forms for all the different pages on my website, and it gives you a unique ID for each opt-in form here, as you can see in the short code. So you can place these short codes anywhere on your page you want. You can also integrate with it on as many campaigns as you want in your autoresponder, okay? It also tells your impressions, your conversions, and it also gives you these icons over here so you can edit or even duplicate different opt-in forms. Another great thing about opt-in lock is that you could actually wrap uh, an article with an opt-in form, meaning it'll actually lock down that specific article and it will not let people read that article or watch that video without them giving you their information first. So how it would work, they would enter their name and email and says, okay, um, you know, enter your name and email here and we'll unlock this article for you. Uh, they enter their name and email and then they'll be asked to check their email account, okay, which they'll get an actual a unique promo code or ID. They grab that, they come back over to that specific post and then they paste in that code. So that's just one way to set up premium content to collect their information without actually setting up a full-blown membership site, okay? So that's another great thing. Uh, optionally, you can set up a light box. I personally like to have uh, multiple opt-in forms on my site for a unique opt-in form for every single page. Um, also for my blog, I have a unique opt-in form. And then I have a welcome opt-in form that pops up on my site that I showed you guys earlier, okay? Uh, but what I'm going to do is just jump into one of these opt-in forms and just show you the different options here. Uh, so if we click on style your, your form, first you can give it an, a unique name, which is really cool. You can choose to activate the plugin or have it on active, completely up to you. You can choose whether you want your headline visibility. Um, another nice thing about this is it actually br uh, pulls in the native uh, WP editor here so you can add any kind of content you want here even images underneath the main headline if you wanted to which is really cool or you can choose to disable the visibility on that as well um, you can change the font and background and all the colors um, of each form uniquely as well and if you scroll down to the bottom um, you can choose to actually not have them redirected to a thank you page you could have them simply enter their email address and then hit submit and then 
they don't get redirected anywhere. A message pops up saying, thank you for opting in. We'll follow up with you in the future. That's how I personally do it so they don't uh, leave my website. And then you know, through email, I'll actually follow up with them and give them what I told them I was going to. So if you click on form placement here and scroll down, <clears throat> you can see the unique short code here. And optionally, you can uh, enable this on your posts, your pages, your attachments, replies, topics, forms, if you have BBPress installed, or even a custom post type as well, like a uh, portfolio, okay? Now you can exclude pages here. You can also choose uh, what categories you wanna exclude. You can choose to hide it or show it on the archives page, with, which would be like the blog list page. Um, you can choose where you want it placed in your page content. And optionally, you can have a light box set up. So if we clicked on light box, you can choose uh, the time you want the pop-up to appear. You can also choose uh, how many pages they visit before the opt-in actually shows up. And then you can do how many days you want the opt-in form to pop up after they've seen it for the first time. So as you can see, um, opt-in lock gives you a ton of different features. It's ex extremely cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and save these settings. Go back over to the, the home page here and just you know end it on my site because you know I want you guys to see this opt-in form here. It's very it's nice looking, it's professional, and you guys need to set up an opt-in form on your blog if you're really getting serious about blogging. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Stay tuned because next week we're gonna be uh, starting a new series altogether, and I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you so much, take care.